First here tonight, the Miami Valley gets more tax dollars designed to keep you safe from terrorists. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Katie Houston. But we're asking, is it money well spent? Jordan Burgess takes a closer look at where the funding is going in our top story at 530. We wanted to know if this money has made the Miami Valley safer. So we examined what departments say it's been spent on. Now, some of the big purchases with the money are these. 97 license plate readers, which allow officers to track down vehicles involved in crimes. Other equipment paid for includes 97 mobile data computers, which provide law enforcement agencies with the ability to access and share information. Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal says those are key because you can't share a suspect photo over a dispatch radio. The money also went toward training for first responders. This year's grant is for more than $164,000, bringing the area's six-year total to a little less than $2.2 million. That money is split among agencies over eight Miami Valley counties. We asked if it's been put to good use. Is this money well spent considering the threat level here in Ohio and in the Miami Valley? I believe so. Through the uh, regional workshops and a lot of our regional meetings here today included, uh, we see a relatively, it looks like a large amount of money on that check, but we're also talking about dozens and dozens of law enforcement agencies that are actually out there that are looking for this funding. Um, so when we're talking in the entire state, almost a thousand law enforcement agencies, that money is stretched pretty thin. We know from past research that the persons who are most likely to have contact with terrorists are going to be local law enforcement, but a lot of times we don't recognize potentially who we're dealing with. So getting this information and sharing this increasing creates the potential we can identify the threat much more earlier. Now, officers say the plate readers have already helped them in more than 350 cases involving warrants or stolen vehicles. Beal says money is even more important as many local governments face budget cuts. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.